what has gone on everyone welcome to the video um so the transfer window is finally over and manchester united surprise surprise have done nothing nothing we're weaker now than we ever were um coming into the start of the transfer window i really did expect at least someone coming in someone um and to be honest i just feel like oh here we go here we bloody go. And not in a Fabrizio Romano way. In the total opposite way. Um, we've lost Martial to Sevilla. Who I understand why he went. Um, right now I feel like, oh god. We're probably going to miss him. We're probably going to need him. Um, and yeah, we've lost like players on loan. You know, Ahmad Diallo went to Rangers. Scored four minutes into his debut. Um, which is incredible. But... We've also, um, you know, we have problems now and we need to fill. Um, Jesse Lingard did not leave. I thought he, I really thought he would, but obviously what happened over the weekend, um, it was very, very hard to let him go, even though Ralph Ragnick told him, gave him his blessing, you can leave. We Like, Jesse was told he could leave before and, you know, but it's not up to, to them, really, is it? The board are keeping Jesse. And instead of signing someone and getting those players in that we need, like a CDM, um, you know, we've we've weakened and then we're keeping players who realistically don't want to be here. Jesse Lingard does not want to be here. And his brother, uh, I, I just think his brother acts so unprofessionally when it comes to this, like... Telling everyone that Jesse is was let out on day release from West uh, to West Ham, and is basically being treated like a prisoner. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I, that that's just too much. It's embarrassing that someone is coming out and saying that you're you're being treated like a prisoner. Um, Jesse gets paid what 100k a week or something like that, 70k between a, between 70 and 100k a week, um, and he wanted to stay fight for his place obviously Ollie told him different and he, he was told he'll get time um, but he wanted to play with Ronaldo and and now you know it's all come back and he's running his contract down and the club are well in their rights to say oh you're running your contract down okay fair, fair enough you'll stay here that's it we're not going to get any money for you but you'll stay here you'll go on a free and in fairness, I don't like players running their contracts down. But then again, I don't like the way Manchester United treat their players. For example, Ander Herrera is is one of the prime examples. Um, you know, they leave it till last minute and then the players just feel like they're being treated badly. Um, and not prison badly, which is very OTT when it comes to um, Lingard's brother saying that. But look, they really need to handle their business better. And that that's for sure um, in all senses the transfer window getting players on, under contracts they need to stop overpaying players because it is disgusting how much some of our players get paid it's disgusting and the younger ones as well I don't know who thinks it's okay to be handing young players massive massive wages every week like it's not good for anyone it is not good for anyone and then it just gives them these massive egos and they think, well, I, I, I get this much money, I'm I'm deadly, I can do what I want kind of attitudes. Um, and the culture at Manchester United is just out the window. I, I actually feel, right now, I feel so depressed with everything at Manchester United. Um, it's not enjoyable. It, uh, we've been saying it for years, a lot of us. It's so hard to love this bunch of players. I adore Bruno Fernandes. I adore him. And, you know, he he shows what it means to play for Manchester United. Even, you know, and Ronaldo and stuff like that. But you've got other people that just make it so hard to love them. Um, and then the way the club has ran again, it's just ran into the shit. It's an absolute disgrace. So, yeah, I'm really depressed with the, the transfer window and the fact that we haven't got anyone in. We've We've weakened. We're in trouble. We are in trouble and we need help. But yeah, guys, let me know your thoughts on that and I will talk to you in the next video.